They are missing the target repeatedly. They are focusing on the wrong element. Absolutely. It is not these individuals that are creating menace on our streets. It is not these individuals who are engaging in drive-by shootings. These gang-related individuals are not using long firearms. They're not using shotguns. Right. The government is continually failing to address the problem at all. The government snuck in an amendment to their firearms legislation, I think surprising many, especially on our side of the aisle, that talked about changing the definition. Now, before it was going after certain pieces of firearms, now they want to include uh, hunting rifles, some hunting rifles in this definition. So kind of the veil is off now, right? The, this, this, this one time was called conspiracy theory that the liberals actually want to target uh, hunters and, and, and sports shooters is becoming a massive reality right now. And, and for no reason, the, the problem is the gangland shootings. The problem is a lot of their crime bills, but somehow for an easy political win, maybe they're going after the law abiding firearms community again, because to use another analogy, it's that low hanging fruit from the tree far better to create this narrative that they're trying to keep communities safe by going after the easiest of targets, the millions of individuals across this country who have taken all the appropriate training courses, have taken all and obtained all the appropriate licenses and engage in hunting uh, for recreation, for sustenance, Let's not even forget about the indigenous population who has an absolute right for sustenance purposes to hunt. So do they get caught up into this new interpretation of the legislation that the government is trying to advance? They are missing the target repeatedly. And the target is they are focusing on the wrong element. Absolutely. It is not these individuals that are creating menace on our streets. It is not these individuals who are engaging in drive-by shootings where innocent people are being picked off. We just heard the statistics uh, released uh, earlier this week that Canada jumped substantially yes. in one year in terms of the gang, gang-related homicides. These gang-related individuals are not using long firearms. They're not using shotguns. Right. They are using those pistols that are illegally being smuggled across our borders. The government is continually failing to address yeah. the problem head on. But this is how the government operates. This government of Justin Trudeau, it divides the population into certain segments and turns the larger population on them. Remember in 2015, after that election, it was rich versus poor, east versus west. And in 2021, it became vaccinated versus unvaccinated. And now it's becoming the legal firearms community versus kind of people who don't have firearms, right? This government is not addressing the most pressing need. And the number one responsibility of a government, Jamie, is to keep its Canadians safe. What I've seen over the last seven years is the complete opposite. Favoring the criminals, reducing the protection for communities and those of victims. It's appalling. It's got to end.